I think I found the one that's going to cure my midlife crisis. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Hey, um, I'm on my way to Louisville and I had a couple extra minutes so I disguised myself as a guy over 50 and decided to stop by the National Corvette Museum. Let's go in. Look around in here then get started through here. All right, what's the best part of the museum? Sinkhole. The what? The oh sinkhole. really? Oh, the, yeah, the sinkhole that, that sucked up all those cool cars. Yep. It's still there, you've preserved Save. it? They filled it in, but they left a place so you can see down in there, and all the cars are back there on display. The cars are still in the hole? No, they brought them up, but they're in the spot where they was. Oh, okay, they're still all wrecked. Yes. Nice, all yes. right, wrecked cars. This is the guy who invented the crankshaft. His name is Henry Shaft and he's holding the very first crankshaft that was ever made. That's true. Totally true, right? Uh, no, not quite. No, that's it's all lies. All lies, I just told you. Okay, here's something that a lot of people don't know, is that sometimes, if you let your Corvette out in the rain for too long, it will shrink. Along with your ego and your pee pee. Okay, here's what we've been waiting for, right here. You may have seen the video on YouTube of the big sinkhole. Well, that happened here. And I'm being told that the hole is still here. Let's go check it out. So I ran into this guy, he's very knowledgeable. What is your name, sir? John. John, and uh, what, what is it you were telling about the millionth Corvette? Oh, with the millionth Corvette, when it was raised from the sinkhole in the Corvette Museum, they shipped it over to GM to restore it because they still own it. Mm -hmm. When they did the restoration, everybody who had been on the line when they built the millionth Corvette signed it under the hood and on the fender. They found everybody except one woman. So before they were gonna unveil it here, they went to GM and a retiree department found her, I think it was in South Carolina, flew her up and she was the last signature and she signed it right when they unveiled it in here. Oh wow. And it was a pretty cool story. So they had everybody but her. So the millionth Corvette that was ever made yes. fell down that hole. Yes. But it was the white one, it was fixable. That was the most fixable one they had. Oh good. But the story was that they actually found her and oh. brought her up here to sign it, so that was pretty cool. That's awesome. Yes. Well, thank you very much for talking yep. with me. So anytime, right. thank you. I don't know, a little Bondo. Touch up paint, maybe. How many people can miss them here? Oh. <laughs> You guys are standing on a sinkhole. Yes. How yes. embarrassing. <laughs> oh my. Can you see down in there? <laughs> Hey dudes, what's your favorite Corvette? 1951. Which, which one? 1951. What color? Black. Black? You gonna get one when you get older? Oh yeah. Awesome! Thank you. No problem. This is the men's room. 
inside the Corvette Museum. The women's room has one too, but the, one of the taillights is out. <laughs> okay, I was able to get permission. They wanted to know if I have insurance. I do. It is very windy here. Uh, so I'm gonna be extra careful. It's cloudy, but it'll still look cool. Here we go. That's about all I dare do because the wind is pretty high. I wasn't able to get too steady of an orbit, but sure is a neat place if you like Corvettes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Buh and bye. Attention, attention. This little girl's name is Lindsay. She's very shy. Do not stare at her. Do not look at her. Do not pay attention. She's very shy. That is all. Did that help, you think? I think it might have helped. Did I cure her of her shyness? I doubt it. <laughs>